Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 306 days, Ukraine stands strong against the forces of the Russian invasion. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed about the situation on the front line. The most complicated is the situation near Bakhmut, Kremina and other areas in Donbas, which now require maximum strength and concentration. According to Zelensky, the invaders are using all the resources available to them, and these are significant resources to squeeze out at least some advance. He thanked Ukrainian forces who hold their positions firmly, stand strong and who nevertheless find opportunities not only to not lose anything but also to drive the occupiers out, capturing them. The president thanked all the workers of the energy companies, all the repair crews for working on Christmas Eve and Christmas as it literally gave people more energy. He informed that as of yesterday evening still about 9 million people were disconnected in various regions of Ukraine. But the number and duration of outages are gradually decreasing. Zelensky added that he had a special meeting with government officials regarding the situation in the energy and infrastructure spheres to prepare for the challenges of the next year. Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Mahler believes that Russia wants to reach the administrative border of the Donetsk region by the end of this year, reports Ukrainska Pravda. She called the city of Bakhmut Ukraine's eastern fortress, where the enemy has concentrated the most military equipment and weapons. Mahler acknowledged that the enemy managed to advance there but was pushed out. As of now, the enemy is trying to surround the city, but they are also not succeeding. Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba informed that the US government has developed a special plan to get the Patriot anti-aircraft missile system ready for operation in Ukraine in less than six months, reports Interfax Ukraine. According to him, training usually takes up to a year. Kuleb also said that the Ukrainian government expects to host a peace formula summit by the end of February, preferably at the UN with Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez as a possible mediator. The minister believes that the UN could be the best platform for holding this summit because it's not about doing a favor to some country, it's about getting everyone involved in the initiative. When asked if they would invite Russia to the summit, he said that Russia is not really ready for negotiations despite its public claims. And first, this country must be held accountable for war crimes, for example, in an international court. Ukraine's foreign ministry released a statement calling on UN member states to resume the application of the UN Charter on the issue of the legitimacy of the Russian Federation's presence in the UN to deprive Russia of its status as a permanent member of the UN Security Council and to exclude it from the UN as a whole, reports European Pravda. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reminds that the issue of Russia's membership in the United Nations as well as its stay in the UN Security Council was not properly settled in accordance with international law. Ukraine draws attention to the fact that the country did not go through the procedures and steps for acquiring membership, as for example the Czech Republic and Slovakia did after Czechoslovakia ceased to exist. If you like what we do and would like to tip us, you can now do so directly to our PayPal. Check out the link in the description to this episode for more details. And as usual, you can subscribe to our Patreon. In gratitude for your help, we will give you access to a series of exclusive episodes on wartime life in Ukraine. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine. 